Mary Beth. I'm Helen. And we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow where we dye yarn and make bags. And today, today is Tuesday, April 14th. 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 Tomorrow? Today is National Look Up at the Sky Day. There you go. Somebody asked us a question, I'm not sure where it was, about how we know what the days are. And we have a Sandra Boynton calendar that, um, that tells us. That's us. exactly it. It's one of the reasons we got it because we thought, oh, this will be fun. Yeah. So, yeah. Do not fall for her. Drew is putting her head in Helen's lap like she's supposed to pet her, and we are trying to break her of this habit. Okay. Um, we had a couple of questions from yesterday. Um, let's see. So, a couple of people said, have you tried a cord for your glasses or knit a cord for your glasses? Um, and all valid suggestions. Yes. I have not done that yet. Somebody suggested getting one from Amazon. I have not done that yet. It's just so much... More fun. More satisfying to, get to throw furious them. at. Um, Bernadette says she she said thanks for mentioning Helen Stewart's pattern. She just purchased the hundred acre wood pattern and she finished her spindrift shawl two uh, two years two weeks ago two weeks ago. So we both did the spindrift, didn't we? No. No. Was, did we do the snow melt? Was that? Yeah, it? the snow melt. We did the snow yeah. melt. I did the hundred acre wood twice. I like it. I loved it so much. I did it yeah. twice. So. Um, Elin wants to know if we were living on our island when Hurricane Sandy went through. We were not. My parents. My parents were down here. My parents left and they decided to evacuate mid-Sandy. Yes. They ignored everybody up until then. And then Sandy hit and it, uh, actually she hadn't hit yet. She was, she was coming up. The beginning coast. was coming. And, uh, they realized it was pretty bad so they, uh, they left. The island and the we police were did in not... New Jersey though. Oh yeah, the police did not want to let them off because there is one causeway on and off the island, um, and they said the wind was blowing the cars all over. Right, and they and the, the flooding was terrible, and they the police officer said, "Look, you can't cross. You're going to have to go to shelter." And my mother said, "I have four birds and a dog in the back of the car, and I'm not going to shelter. I'm either going back to the house, or I'm going off the island." And, and he said, okay, I want you to make sure your car's bumper is touching my bumper because I know the safe way through all the puddles. I will get you to the causeway, and then you are on your own. <laughs> they made it home in record time because nobody else was <laughs> stupid enough to be on the road. And Sandy was scary even where we were. We were not, we were on the co on the east side of the state, but not right near water. Right. And um, that was... Yeah, that was one of that the times the where we went out to walk the dogs, made it about a quarter of the way down the block and said, do your business, we're going back yeah. home. I mean, that was the, the aluminum siding was blowing off the houses around us and down the street. And right. Like, yeah, well, we're done. You guys can use the bathroom in the house. <laughs> Just don't even care. Well, no, they were, they were so good. We they took were, them out were. to the driveway. They did what they needed to do. They're awesome dogs. Um, Eileen tomorrow says, Helen, have you finished your moon cross stitch project yet? I have not. I just haven't had any time in the mornings. We've, we've been, knock wood, very, very busy. Um, so our morning stitching time has gone by the wayside for right. the last couple of weeks. So I will get back to it as soon as I can because I'm. it makes me angry. Okay. Pausing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it makes me angry that I haven't been able to work on it. Right. So we've got to get it back in again. It's yeah. just... As Helen said, it's a very good thing, but we've been crazy yeah. busy. You may not know this, but an angry Helen is not a nice Helen. No fun to be around. <laughs> okay, Janice wants to know... She okay, someone is done throwing his temper tantrum. So, Janice says, since the quarantine, I look forward to your visit every evening. I'm curious slash nosy about your home. It looks like a quaint historic home on the beach. Um, it is historic. I'm not sure quite how... how historic I, uh, Richard Nixon slept here um, did he really yeah oh okay I know that um, there's a room downstairs that is modeled after a room in Paul Revere's house so we always call it the Paul Revere yeah. room um, I think the base of the house is over a hundred years old it's um, the house has had multiple fires one of which we were here for okay just a couple of quick things just um, prices we finally got prizes going out in the mail. So I have two prizes 
that as far as I know haven't been claimed yet. I'm giving you guys one last chance if you could please get in touch with me because you may have gotten in touch with us and I just can't find it. Um, this was from one of our podcasts. We just were picking prizes. It was Greta Taylor. Greta Taylor was one of the uh, hands-on design safe harbor cross stitch pattern. Greta, if you could please get back in touch with us if you already have. If, if you haven't, please get in touch with us to let us know. Um, uh, ToadHollowNJ at gmail.com is the email. If you could just send us your address, we will send it out to you. Right. Um, we'll give you a couple more days and then we'll just pick somebody else. Okay, and then uh, from our March Yarness, Rebecca Marhenke, I think is the way you pronounce it. You won the Fishbowl Sprinkle yarn from uh, Western Sky Knits. Right. If you got in touch with us, please get back in touch with us, ToadHollowNJ at gmail.com and claim your prize so that we know where to send it. Yep, okay. And in the mail today, we got a lovely prize, a lovely package um, from Tina Kircher. And she sent us this beautiful card. And then she sent us, she sent us Reese's peanut butter eggs, but we were didn't, hungry. They didn't even make it much out of the post office driveway. She sent us floss bags which are fantastic that we can put our floss in. I'm about to start a giant project, so this is gonna be perfect. Yeah, Helen got all the floss, well, mo a lot of the floss uh, today. Then she sent us a pattern from Heart to Hand, which is a vest for four seasons. So it's applique making the vest, which is very, very cool. Um, I'm not sure I will make a vest, but I will definitely make a pillow out of it. And we can have a pillow for each of the seasons. Yeah, the appliques are cool. And then she sent us a baggie full of buttons. All these great buttons. These ceramic hearts in different colors. Um, she sent ones that are little bones. I mean, they're all different ones. There's some wooden ones in here. And there are um, plain wooden ones that we can paint. So they're so pretty. Yeah. Um, and she sent us some silver floss too to sew them on. So thank you so much, thank Tina. You. Uh, really, really nice lovely of you. Yes. So um, we will figure. I mean, they will fit into all different sorts of projects that we are going yeah. to be doing. So thank you so much. Um, so that is that. Okay. All right. That is what I had. Okay. Um, all right. So we didn't have much to talk about today, so we decided we would deep dive through our whip baskets, pull something out, and open it on air. Do you want to go first or shall I? I'll go first. I, I have, have no idea I have what's in my bag. I have no idea what's in it. Which is sad, because usually I can look at a project bag and know what's in it, and there's right. a lot in here. So I can't wait to see what it is. This is my project bag. What is it? It's a blanket. Oh, is that your, um, the coastal one? Maybe. It's one of hers. However, coastal there's a crochet. whole bunch of cotton yarn in here. Crochet hook. Look at all the cotton yarn you're hoarding. <laughs> I have no clue. Is there a pattern? It's not, we had it on... We were going to her blog. You and would think it. I would know me by now and at least print it out. Yeah. Nope. I have no idea which one it is. No clue. All right. So, cotton yarn up for the grabs. We could do something with that. It's cool colors. Oh, beautiful colors. I remember picking yeah. them out. I mean, I could just continue. You have to figure out what it is. Oh, I just do something else. It's probably the coastal crochet. Isn't she coastal crochet? Maybe. And it was uh, it was one of her blankets. I think she's done two or three. You just have to figure out which one it is. Hmm. Okay. So what are you gonna do with it? Don't know. Put it back in the whip basket. <laughs> Probably. I'm going to pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> and in a year from now, you can all, when I hold it up, you'll all go, it's the coastal crochet! Right? <laughs> okay. I have, I mean, look, 
they, these make stripy socks. That's why we bought them. I'm like, they don't go with my the cotton yarn at all. We can get stripy socks. Stripy cotton socks. Look at that. And not only stripy cotton socks, there's patterning in there too. Yeah. This is Regia Cotton Tutti Fruity color. Tutti Fruity, yeah. Oh, well, then it's not Tutti Fruity. It's color 02418. 100 grams. Cotton patterning yarn. Maybe I will start a pair of socks. Summer is coming. Cotton socks. Yours is uh, watermelon and mine is kiwi. Oh, did you see where it says? Well, there's a picture of a kiwi. Oh, mine is not a watermelon. Mine's like a dragon fruit. Oh, maybe it is dragon fruit, yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. Look, found treasure. Yeah. What else is in there? Just the other. Are you sure? Yarn. Yeah, I know. I checked. Okay. Um, so I what else have you got hiding in there? All my my cotton yarn. It's knit picks dishy. We could do up some. Um, you know what we could do? We, we could do, do um, yeah dishcloths and stuff. Not so much dishcloths. The uh, pot holders. Yeah. I may want to bring out the blanket. Who you knows? Might. It's going back in the whip basket. Okay. I was hoping it was going to be an easier decision than that, but... This is mine. Did you check? Did you cheat? I looked. I still don't look at it. <laughs> oh, well, at least you put a pattern in there. I have a pattern. Well, that's not helpful. Either. All right. So this is my pattern. This is the one. Dragon flight? That's my pattern. No idea what this is. Absolutely none. Did you start it? I don't know. Well, that's silk. Orca's Island, isn't it, in silk? Yeah, that's Orca. And then this was, um... Is that another one from, um... Yeah. And there's that. So I have two skeins of Orcas Island. It's gonna be gorgeous together. I'm and a done. purple that probably was also she, the the girl who wrote in silk. Yeah. Lynn May, Maylin, Maylin, Maylin. Evidently, I was going to do that. That's the Dragon Flight by Elizabeth Ravenwood. That is am ambitious of you. Yeah. That's a lot of lace. That's what I that have. That you have to do properly. Mm. No fudging that stuff. Okay, so I'm going to say, I'm not doing this. <laughs> and it's not so much of the lace and everything, it's just, it, I don't know why I had picked this out. Yeah. Because that really it is not It's not you at all. Me. Um, it's beautiful, but it's not me. So I will put the silk away, and um, I, th I probably will... I don't know what I'll do. It's gonna be pretty. The two of them together are really pretty. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Um, I turned off my sound. I was gonna say, I'm glad you turned off your sound. I did, I turned it down, I turned it off, I don't know. Your phone's still on. Oh. And yet calls don't come through, so yeah. w what's with that? Um, all right, so it's going back on the shelf because um, it's beautiful and it should yeah. be used for something. But it's just not, not okay. that. So. You gained a project bag and three skeins of Silky Toad. Yeah. All right. And sock yarn. And sock yarn. And a blanket I don't know what to do with. <laughs> Par for the course. <laughs> for everybody who's going back and watching our old episodes, if you want to let me know what that blanket is, that would be <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> Claire, if you come across it, could you let us know? Heather, I know you're. I know you're sewing masks and watching our old episodes. So, when I hold up a blanket, just let me know. It's cotton it that she's crocheting. Just let her know, please, so that I can go find it and yo figure out rejuvenate. <laughs> okay, um, we are gonna go because yep. um, we are chatting with friends tonight. So um, we got to get everybody fed and ready to go before seven o'clock. Yeah. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, everybody. Yeah. Um, if you're expecting stuff from us, it's on its way. We got a whole bunch out today. So, yeah. and more will be going out tomorrow. Yep. Alrighty. Have a good night, everyone. Good night.